Hello, today we are going to take an input video, turn it into a time lapse, and then output it, and we'll do this all with Python. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to import CV2 or OpenCV. We'll bring in our video here. Uh, we'll do this with CV2 vid video capture, and then we'll just pass it the uh, path to where we have our file stored. So in my case, that's in the assets directory. We'll set some variables, uh, a list for our frames. Success, you'll see why we're setting this in just a second. Count. And last, I know I'm missing one. Oh, of course, our speed to dictate how fast um, of a time lapse we're actually making. So let's go ahead and make a for loop here, or a while loop, sorry. So while success, we will go ahead and say success and image is equal to CV2, no, vid <laughs> dot read. There we go. Um, if statement here, if our, how should we do this count can be equally divided by our speed, then we will go ahead and append our image or frame uh, to our frames list. And then we'll just take count and we'll, inc whoops, we'll increment it by one. So let's go ahead and create our writer here. This is very similar to what we did above. CV2 dot video writer. We'll go ahead and give it a path to where we would like to output our video this time. So output, and then our name, we'll just name it tl.mp4. Uh, what should we do here? CV2, I have to remember how to do this. Video writer for CC. I believe we just mp4, I think it was v. I don't know why I'm thinking a, but it's definitely v. Uh, next is our frame rate. So mine is 29.98, yours could be 30 or 60, it just depends on your video. Uh, same thing with this tuple we create, um, mine, my, or sorry, this is uh, the resolution of the video I'm giving it. This could be different for your video, of course. After we've done that, we'll go ahead and say, um, well, I guess we'll loop through our frames, right? I'm remembering how to do all this. Uh, so we'll just say, for frame in frames, we'll say writer. Um, I believe it's right. You don't have to forgive me. I'm sort of forgetting how to do this. Frame. I believe that's it. Um, and then we'll just release this here. That should be it. Let's go ahead and run it uh, with Python. And I believe I named this timelapse.py. Uh, this might take a second, I'll just pause here and we'll get back once it's done. Okay, so it just got finished. Let's see if it actually output a file. It did. Uh, this should be a time lapse of a key going into a lock. And that's exactly what it is. So let's check out our original video here. We can see that it's at a different speed. Okay, so that is how you create a time lapse with Python. Um, I'm going to be making a couple more of these video editing with Python videos just because I find it interesting. Um, if you find it interesting, you know, stick around and check out more of them. I'll put up a article on my website and leave it in the description. Um, it should, I, I don't know if I'll go into more detail. I've yet to write it, so there could be something I forgot um, that I'll get to there. But uh, if you have any questions, you can also go there and just contact me through my contact form. So I hope you guys liked the video and uh, I'll see you next time.